guys, Shane here. Um, so back with another update today, a little bit of news, a um, couple cards I bought, uh, etc. So let's hop right in, check out the sheet here. So far this week, 259 Raven coin, uh, 6.3 Electronium, and we've done about 7.95 on Nice Hash this week. Um, Verge went up. Pretty good little jump here in the past, I guess, 24 hours. So now my total Verge coins uh, just over $301 right now. Um, grand total, $363. Total mined in almost, well, in about two days, it'll be a full 11 weeks. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. Um, I think this once this payout hits, I'll be able to send that over to Binance and pick up some Tron. So I'll have $20 in Bitcoin roughly, so I don't know how much Tron I can get with that, but we'll, we'll find out. You know, let me figure that out real quick. I think Tron's about $0.08 cents right now. So let me move this. Right here, let's say about twenty dollars divided by point zero. I think it's like point zero eight five last I checked. So two hundred and thirty five Tron I can get. So I, that might be coming up pretty soon. Maybe by probably by Thursday I'm guessing I'll be able to uh, cash that out and buy some Tron. Then I'll be able to add that in here. Um, I did pick up yesterday two new RX 564 gigs, the same ones I had before. Um, those should be in in probably, I think it said three or four days, something like that. I got them off Newegg. I'll show you real quick. The ones I showed you yesterday, these guys, they were 149 yesterday with a $15 mail-in rebate. Um... So I got two of them, cost me $2.99 for two of them. So if I, with that to the mail-in rebate, it's only $134. So that's about a $42 savings off of what I paid for the last two. So that was a good little deal, nice snag. Um, that should add about anywhere from 11 to 13 mega hash. Depends on what I'm mining. Um, we can probably hop in real quick. Yeah, let's do that. We'll hop into the um, AMD rig, which is right here. And let's move this over here a bit. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's kind of hard to see. But the 560s are doing 11 to 13 mega hash. I'll explain that in a second. And my 570 now, which seems to be running fine, is doing 27 and a half to 28 mega hash. These are the overclocks. These are BIOS modded cards. Uh, overclocks on the 560s are 1196 core, 2000 memory for both of them. 570 is 1275 core and 2200 memory. So that's what's giving me those. Uh, hashing power on that it seems to be running good I mean I'm getting 285 a day whereas before I was getting maybe a dollar fifty a day what I had to do last night is um, I had to actually uninstall the drivers and reinstall them again as you can see it's crimson beta drivers blockchain drivers reinstalled them and did the overclocks last night and Seems to be working great now. So, if I can just get uh, actually ordered two USB drives off of um, Amazon, it should be in tomorrow. And I'm going to try reloading SMOS on one of them, and hopefully I'll be able to run that again. I, I'm hoping just the thumb drives I have now are corrupt. I don't really know why this rig will not boot to the USB drive. I've tried every USB drive on a rig. I've re flashed the USB I got with a new fresh install of uh, SMOS it just will not reboot to the um, USB drive 
I'm not doing anything different than I did before. This all started when I wanted to try nice hash. Uh, I guess it'd be about a week and a half ago, just to see how, just to see what the payout was. So I pulled the USB out and put the SSD in there with it's got Windows on it, and it wasn't what I was expecting. So I just simply went went back, put the USB in the same port, didn't do anything, and it just would never would boot to that USB drive again. So I don't understand that, but I'm thinking maybe that drive got corrupted somehow. And that's short of a time frame, which I think is kind of bull crap, but, you know, whatever. So, I'll show you. This is the good RX 560 card right here. 1100, covers around 1100 and a half megahertz. The Hertz 560, which is just how it came out of the box. It's the same overclocks. Same overclock, same BIOS mod, everything. But as you can see, the megahertz are anywhere from 100 to 150 less on the core. There's the good one. There's the bad one. And as such, the bad one's giving me about 11. Let me move this. About 11 and a half mega hash. The good one is giving me a little over 12 mega hash. So I'm losing anywhere from a half to one mega hash on this bad card. Look at that. We're all the way up, almost up to three dollars a day right now. And it's been mining pretty much steady last 24 hours. Dagger decred. I mean, look at it. It's just pumping out shares. For some reason, it loves doing dagger decred. These cards. So I'm just leaving that alone right now. Like I said, when I get the USB in tomorrow, I'll do a fresh install, fresh download from the website, the whole nine, and hopefully I can get SMOS running again so I can start mining Ethereum again. Because last I checked, what I was doing with Ethereum before, I should be getting anywhere from 350 to $4 off this rig mining Ethereum. But it is what it is. All right, so some news real quick on uh, Coin Telegraph about Ethereum, which is good news, which is really why I want to get back on Ethereum again. Consulting firm predicts Ethereum could reach 2,500 by the end of 2018. Independent financial consulting company Devere Group, which provides investment and wealth management services, has predicted that the price of Ethereum could hit 2,500 by the end of the year. March Market Watch reported on April 27th. The financial consultancy firm said that the second largest cryptocurrency could see a significant rise, predicting its fourfold increase thanks to a growing adoption of the digital currency as well as the use of smart contracts. Um, the price of Ethereum is predicted to increase significantly this year and could hit 2500 by the end of 2018 with a further increase by 2019 and 20. This general upswing will be fueled by three main drivers. First, more and more platforms are using Ethereum as a means of trading. Second, the increased use of smart contracts by Ethereum. And third, the de decentralization of cloud computing. So all in all, this is good news for Ethereum. What could be bad news is that the ASICs get on Ethereum and start mining it, and then that would kill the GPUs. So hopefully, um, Billy, I forget the guy's, the founder's name. I think his last name is Brand now. If I'm not, yeah, uh, Vitalik Buterin is the guy's name, the founder. Um, Hopefully he decides to make it ASIC resistant and help out us GPU miners, but I got a feeling he doesn't really care. So with that, guys, I guess that's it for today. I want to thank you guys uh, who came over from Spartan Mining's channel and subscribed. I really appreciate that, guys. Um, tomorrow will be the video I uh, put up that, where you'll be able to enter for Bitcoin Fridays. So be on the lookout for that. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon so you'll be notified when that video comes out. Uh, if you all like the video, be sure to uh, hit the, th the thumb icon, bottom right of that video. I would appreciate it. 
guys have any questions or comments, put them down in the uh, comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, guys, I guess that's it for today. Again, thanks for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. And with that, bye.